it going? Hope things are great with you. We're continuing the amazing series. We're going to talk about what are the five amazing things that you would have when Mercury is well placed in the eighth house. The eighth, just a little bit about it, the eighth is a house of active karma. The other houses, they will affect you in a subtle way, in an indirect way. You may not see, it's concealed. The way it uh, teaches us life is in a very uh, hidden way. It's discreet in that, in that sense. However, the eighth is right in your face. It's audacious, it's straightforward, it's highly transparent, right? It's an active karma house. It shows what are the things that we will go through in this birth, uh, the challenges, the turmoils, the impediments, uh, the, the hurdles that we go through in this life. The eighth, that's what it is, right? It's a house of great learnings, right? Great, great learnings. Things which you can never uh, get from books. It's not knowledge, it's truth, it's wisdom. Right? The 8th is a very important house. It shows us uh, what are the things which are installed. Normally, it's not the good ones, you know. The, the learnings that we have in life, you know, it's always from the, the mistakes that we make. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the wrong turn that we take, you know, it's always the, the bad one, the negative ones. Which is why the 8th is one of the Dushtana houses, right? But that's alright. Uh, as long as you understand the 8th gives us a lot of um, understanding, a lot of lessons which we, we can use it to walk on the path of dharma, all right? So, what are the five amazing things? Number one, you'll be a person without any kind of ego, all right? You know when to back out, right? Some people, they don't have that, you know, even if in an argument, maybe, you know, they keep going on and on because their the ego is tempered, right? So, they don't want to lose whatever efforts that they take. They may realize that their efforts may be futile, but yet they will, you know, keep moving on. And this attitude will always lead into failures, right? So that is, that is something that um, we can always avoid because we know, right, it's eminent. It's going to have problems, it will fail, but we still walk on that, right? Why? It's because our ego is greater than our logical reasoning uh, capacity, right? So that's one, you would not have that ego. You know when to back out, an astute thinking person, uh, you know, hitting the iron when it's hot, that sort of uh, great uh, uh, personality you have within you. That's number one. Yeah? Number two is reader. I love this one, you know, they love to read and they read various subjects. It doesn't matter, you know, they just love reading. They improve their knowledge uh, and it's like, um, it's a thirst, it's a hunger. Uh, for them to quench knowledge, you know, they just love reading, they don't waste time. Uh, they, they, they go to, uh, if they're waiting on a queue or something, they'll grab something to read. It's always like that, they love to read. And such an amazing thing, right? That's number two. Number three is that they're always in control in a situation. Remember, eighth is house of um, active uh, impediments, challenges, right? But if you are in control, then these impediments may not shake you that much. So people who have mercury in the gate, they have this um, far-sighted, you know, they, they know what are the things to expect. They're preemptive in their actions. They know when to make the decision and they know what are the things that may happen. So in a problem, okay, if you have mercury well positioned in the gate, when there is a problem, Right? You're facing a huge wall of adversity in front of you. Right? You will always remain in control. You would not rely on others. It doesn't mean you're not resourceful. It doesn't mean that you will not take uh, help from others. No, no, no. It's not that. You will take. But you would not go and ask for any kind of assistance. Because you know what to do, what to expect. Right? So a person with great confidence, conviction and the ability to, uh, you know, to to hold on, to hold on and to fight and to endure. Right? That's another great thing, that's number three. Number four, uh, this is a nice one, you gravitate uh, people wherever they you go. You know, people, I can say you are an agent of inspiration, right? Wherever you go, okay, it's very, um, you have this magnetic pull towards you, right? Because you don't seem to talk anything negative about anything or anybody. Right? There's nothing bad for you to talk about. There's always only good things, hopeful things, uh, positive things. There's really nothing else you will talk about. It's always like, okay, uh, you know, what are the things that can be done? 
you never talk about what uh, what are the things that uh, you know done and dusted things you're always thinking about your future you're always planning up ahead so naturally you create this aura this magnetism wherever you go so you're an agent of inspiration okay such a great thing to have especially uh, people are you know you know they're in a very difficult situation uh, they're very down and you know they need some emotional support and seeing you would just give them all that energy right so that's, that's a great thing that's the fourth one uh, and the fifth is this care damn personality right which means you're not really bothered about what people think what the world is thinking uh, what rumors uh, hunches uh, hearsay whatever you know, you're really not bothered you are really not bothered you are a person with sort of a hard-headedness in what you believe all right it's not even gut feeling all right you believe in facts and figures you believe with analytics you believe in logics and if you come to a conclusion that yes my decision is correct based on this logical sequence then i'm not going to change my thoughts hell heaven high water what may come i'm going to walk towards it you know i'm, I'm going to stick with whatever I endeavored for and not, nothing uh, or nobody can stop me. You know, it, it's a very great, it sounds a little bit uh, maybe, um, I would say narcissistic, but not at all. It's a very positive attitude, right? Nothing can sway your mind into doing something else just because someone says so, or maybe because a group of people is doing it doesn't mean you have to do it, right? It's always a positive way to look at things, you know? If you've decided to do it, then just do. That's it. So such a great thing to have. These are the top five amazing things which I've seen over the years as an astrologer. And I'm pretty sure you have this. And if you do, please uh, put it on the comment section. I would love to know. So take care, guys, and I'll see you on the 9th. Namaste. Okay.